Well hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today it is Monday, start of the week. I was supposed to go and pick up the hedge cutter today, uh, but instead I didn't. I was feeding the cattle all day and then I went to pick up this lot uh, because I was supposed to go over to Berry, but unfortunately the bulbs or the beacons on the 6.9 are both absolutely shot. So I'd listened to you in the comment section and invested in some replacement beacons. I didn't go for the the cheaper ones I was going to go for in the end. I traded up for the, the genuine John Deere ones, like you said in the comment section. So we've got some goodies here. These are some decals I uh, invested in because on one side of the bonnet, the decals are all burning off. So I've decided to get a full set of decals. These are, these are going to go in my safe tonight. The, I won't tell you how much they cost, but it uh, it was a pretty penny. And they're genuine decals, which had to be produced in Germany. So they're going to be put on by a professional because I can't, I won't put them on myself because I, I'd rather it was done properly at a proper, proper autom um, auto body place, or, you know, body shop. So there's a, a company in the village and they're going to put them on for me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it all goes well. And the decals were one of the last things to do on that tractor. So once I get the decals on, I'm going to have the rims shot blast in the new year. Well, no, we are in the new year now, 2024. And I'm hoping that'll be the last job to do. And then um, I bought some of the beacon lights, which we'll go and find out if they work, because I'm not sure if the tractor has got some fuse issues or some wiring problems or, it, you know, some sort of electrical issues. So anyway, I'll just undo them and then we'll go and put them on. But I've been doing my packed lunch this evening. I've been feeding the cows today and to, I'm doing my packed lunch because tomorrow, I love these, by the way, M&M, peanut M&Ms, if, if anyone uh, likes M&Ms. I literally had like two packs on the way back from Llama. Um, but if you look down here, these are hopefully the genuine ones. So um, we'll go and put them on, see if they work. They were the last thing which I needed because without LEDs, beacon, you know, or beacons, I thought hedge cutting, it's not really very safe. You know, you want people to see you, you know, for health and safety and all the rest of it. All that reminds me, I need, I need to bring a high-vis jacket to Shelbourne tomorrow. So I'll be spending the, spending the day tomorrow with the Shelbourne, Shelbourne guys and girls. So that's what the new beacon looks like. That is a genuine John Deere beacon and it does say Hella on the top somewhere I think it says Hella so it's Austrian but that's what they look like anyway so I've got two of these we'll go and put them on see if they work there we go both unboxed look at that fresh beacons I'll try and put something on the rubber to try and maintain them yeah, so I've got to take one of the old ones off this is one of the old ones from my old 6300 from back in the day so I'm still going to keep that as a spare maybe put, maybe put it on another tractor at some point but on they go, one of the first ones. Ooh, bit of a tight fit there. God, come on. Yeah, nice and tight. Do the other one. Hoping this is gonna work. I filled it up with fuel earlier for its long trip down to Berry tomorrow. Also put the clevis on the back because I think you need the clevis for the hedge cutter. And the only thing I was concerned about is I have got the passenger seat inside the cab for the hedge cutter controls and I don't know if the passenger seat will get in the way or not but they have got a massive factory down there at Shelbourne so I'm sure they'll be able to navigate their way around a passenger seat for a tractor um so there we go on it goes tighten that on now the moment of truth to see if this works right here we go here we go service in three hours yes yes We've got beacons. Oh, bloody hell. Are they both working? Oh, yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I'm so happy that these are working. That has been such a nightmare. I thought something was wrong with the tractor, but um, yeah, they look great. They look really, really good. So there you go. My beacon mystery has been solved. You just got to, uh, as you guys said in the comment section, buy the genuine ones and then the command center knows that they're genuine. So there we are. Uh, the original ones, are, to be fair, I think they've done six and a half thousand hours, which is quite impressive for original beacons. And uh, I gotta say, they're a little bit fresher than new ones. You know, they, you can, they're a bit brighter because the plastic's new. Um, yeah, I just hope they last as long as, but I tell you what, hedge cutting, these will be brilliant down the road. I think people will see you really well. And then if I put the front box on the front, I've got the Deegan Hart linkage. If I put a seven pin plug on there, you have to plug it in with a laptop to tell the command center it has a seven pin plug. Then I could have the hazard lights on my front box. So that is really, really good news. Over the moon about that. 
I'm really happy about that. I thought the uh, the cheaper ones I'd be able to get away with them, but if you do look on the box, although they've got Heller on the caps of these beacons, it does say, uh, if you look there, look, made in Germany. So I think John Deere has some sort of partnership on those beacons because part of the beacon might actually be made at Mannheim, um, which explains why they work with the 6930 and the cheaper ones don't. But I do, to be fair, genuinely... I do generally buy genuine John Deere stuff, but um, I thought with the rising costs, you know, I thought I'd try and save a few quid, um, but unfortunately, you know, didn't work out, so I had to go for the genuine ones. I do buy, like, the genuine oils for the filters, the servicing equipment, all the rest of it. I have ordered all the filters and everything, which will be coming soon to service both the 6930 and the 6155R. And then tomorrow morning, I'm heading down to the factory to go and get the hedge cutter to go on that tractor. Um, I did actually see as well on another subject... This afternoon, someone has gone out again, another contractor, different one this time, two 6155Rs, a 6145R, two forage harvesters, two wheeled loaders, a telehandler, and a 6830 as well. So many people going out at the moment, it's just crazy, and I'm just getting started, and, and you sort of wonder, is it a wise thing to be getting started in an industry where literally every week lots, lots and lots of contractors are going out of the game? Um, I think you have to take the rough with the smooth. I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section. You know, every year's up and down. You know, when a lot of people go out of it, there'll be more demand for work and there'll be more opportunities. So looking forward to see what happens for the rest of this year. Um, I've got to get an early night tonight because we're going to be up early to, for going and getting the hedge cutter and make my pack lunch and I'll catch you. I'll film it all tomorrow and I'll catch you in the day after tomorrow. So it'll be Wednesday. Wednesday Wednesday's video will be picking up the hedge cutter. Thanks for watching. Keep liking and subscribing. We'll be going up here again soon. We'll be going to Cambridge. And I've also got a projector going in the grain store for online auctions. So you'll be able to see some of the online stuff as well for tractor auctions, which will be quite fun. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Enjoy your evening and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel. And click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.